Hello everyone, it's Bonnie with a Matt Pilates class today. Today's class we're going to do a lot of unilateral work, meaning working one side of our body and then the other, or a lot of times asking the sides of our body to do two different things. No extra equipment is required today, so you'll just need a mat, and we will go ahead and get started. We're going to begin sitting with either knees slightly bent or you can take a straight leg. And we're just gonna go through some breath work here. So sitting up nice and tall, take the arms out in front. And as you reach out to the side, palms up, take an inhale and just lift through the chest. Let the eyes come up and the chest open. And then on an exhale, reach forward, tuck the chin and kind of hollow, open the back as you round back. And inhale, open the chest, lift, and exhale, pull back. And just start to move here with this stretch and flow. You can go a little further back each time. Try to keep your, at least your heels on the mat, but adjust the leg position as you need to. Breathe it in and breathe out and hold. Now as we come up, Take the right arm and open and twist, inhale, and exhale, rock back. Other side, open to lift, and rock it back. And just take this back and forth. So you're opening the chest, and then close and fold. And reach forward and open, and back. Let's take one more each side of these. Inhale to open, and exhale back. And once more, and come center. This time, let's bring it all the way down to our back. Very good. We're gonna bring the uh, arms up, legs up to table, or on the floor. And we're gonna take an ab curl here. So reaching with our arms, lifting the head, neck, and shoulders, look forward toward the legs, and lower it down. So coming up, Pause, but you're not just holding, you're reaching deeper into this. And rest it down. Two more. Reach, deepen and lower. And reach. Now we want to keep a very stable, neutral pelvis as we march our legs. One comes up and set it down. Keep reaching through the arms. Collarbones are wide. Shoulders are resting down. And lift and lower let's go for four and down and lift for three and down stretch lift two and down and lift for one lower the feet lower the head now we're going to curl up pick up the right leg and switch legs at the exact same time so we tap the toes <sighs> meanwhile stable pelvis Reaching through, engaging those upper abdominals here, switch, and we have four. And three, keep the eyes looking forward, and two, and one. Both legs tabletop, lay it on down. Bring the knees apart, feet together, hands just more narrow into the center. We're gonna curl, reaching toward our heels, hold for a count of three, and two, and one, lower down. Do it again. So you have to sink the low belly, reach and hold three, and two, and one, lower down. Take this again up, and two, and three, lower down. One more time here, up, two, three. Now we're gonna take the legs out as we come up. So stretch them out, hold one, hold two, hold three, bend it, in, stretch and go, one, two, three, come down, two more, two and three, down, one more time here, one and two and three, bring it down, hug both knees into the chest, curl the head, neck and shoulders up for double leg stretch, we're going to take the arms up next toward the ears, legs extend long, Circle around and hug it in for one. Inhale and exhale around for two. Again, inhale, exhale for three. 
One more here. Exhale for four. Single leg stretch. Extend the left leg. Right knee comes in. And we switch legs here. Think of a bullseye on the wall in front of you. Keep the legs clean. Hit that bullseye with each foot. Four more sets. Let that bottom leg extend out and down. And two. And switch. And one. And switch. Knees come in. Rest down. Let the knees rock side to side for a moment. Bringing the hands behind the head. Extend the legs up toward the ceiling. We're going to curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Hold here as you try to draw the legs up towards you even further. And then release down. Again, curl head, neck, shoulders up. Draw the navel down and pull the legs towards you while you lift the torso at the same time and release down. Again, curl, engage and lift so the back will flatten. Think of tailbone lifting off and lower. One more here, curl, engage those deep abdominals. Stay lifted, lower the right leg. Think of almost tapping it to the floor here. Stretch the left leg and we scissor one and two and three. Keep that head, neck, and shoulders lifted if you can. Deep breath, focus on both legs stretching. Four more sets, there's one and two. Scissor three and four and both legs up. Bend the legs tabletop, slow crisscross. Reach the left, turn to your right elbows wide. And pass through center, other side. And go here, one. And slow and control. Pelvis is stable. And rotate around. And switch. And go four. Stretch for three. So we feel these as we go nice and slow. Two more here. And twist. Last one. And twist. Come to center. Set it down. I hope you all felt those. We go knees to one side. And then we take our knees to the other side. Very good. Coming into our flat-legged position. We're going to cross our right ankle over the left thigh. And you want to make sure that this foot here is flexed, so toes pulled back, arms pressing into the mat, into a single leg bridge. Lift the hips up, so it's more of a flat back lift. I'm pressing with my arms, and then I just lower straight down. Squeeze the glutes to lift, press, hold, two, three, Lower down. Take it again. Squeeze and hold. So I'm opening the knee. So I open the hips, but they're still square. And lower down. One more here. Lift and hold. Two, three. Lower down. Now we're going to bring that right leg bent. And as we lift up, it kicks toward the sky here. So I press, lead with my heel up, and bend everything down. We have that hold again. Squeeze and hold. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Squeeze and hold. Neck long. Use those arms. Last one. Squeeze, hold. Lower, lift the right leg. Flex lower. Point, lift. Flex and lower. Hips stay up. And lower. And lift. One more time. Lift and hold. Hips go up. And up, press into the floor. Four more. One. And two. And three. And four. Lower down. And same thing, other side. The magic words of today. Get to do everything twice. And we lift up, press into the floor. Squeeze. And lower down. Foot stays flexed. Both arms press into the mat. And we go again, squeeze and lift, and lower it down. And again, squeeze and lift, and lower it down. 
and squeeze, lift and hold. Bring it down, bend it to tabletop, foot is still flexed. We kick everything up, open the hip and bend it down. Press firmly into the foot on the mat, press up and lower. Good, lift and stretch and lower down. And lift, stretch, hold, lower, lift, flex the foot, point and lift. And lower two, point to lift, lower three. One more time, find that lift, pulse the hips up. Use the whole back side of the body here. Lift, go for four, and three, and two, and one, lower down. Step it on down. Grab behind the legs, rock and roll yourself up, and we're gonna come down onto our side, onto the elbow for today. So I have my elbow right under my shoulder, and the knees are stacked one on top of the other. From here, bring the hand to the hip, check to make sure that the torso is lengthened. So a straight line through the center body here. And we're gonna take our little clamshell rotation. So rotate open and close. So this next set of work is really all encompassing side body. We're gonna get some hip, some obliques, and some shoulder. And then as promised, we do it all again. So try to keep those hips stable, hand on the hip for some support. And this hand just pressing down, you can make a fist if you want. Let's go four more, one, and open two, and open for three, and open for four. So now we're gonna add on to this, take the top arm up. And as that knee opens, we're going to lift the shape up, so I'm on my knee and my elbow, and then bring it all down. Everything lifts up and down. Modification would be to stick with the clamshell, right, or don't lift quite so high, and lower. Squeeze and lift, lower down. So we start feeling a little more heat here through the back of the body, through the hip, obliques and shoulder, as promised, we have four, and down, and lift for three, and down, lift up two. Now take it up and hold it. Good, take that top leg, take it out. It lowers, it lifts, and lower. Now we get into the shoulder a lot more. Stretch the arm up. Option here is leave the hip down, leg lowers right here we have three and lift and two and lift and one lift and hold little circles forward eight times three four just that isometric hold at the end makes us work that much harder reverse take them small eight seven six five we go for four and three and two and one, bend the knee and lower it down. Swing it around to the other side. Good old sweat mark on my mat there. All right, so here we are, stacked up, long spine. Rotate the top leg open and down. So I don't know about you, but you can, we worked that bottom hip a lot, so I can feel that already on that side which makes this work. Yes, it's unilateral, but you have both sides do having different jobs, right? One side is more for stability. One side is more mobility. So because this hip was just the stabilizer, it's tired, right? Making side two all the more exciting, right? Lift up and try not to rock the hip. Again, that hip is fatigued here, four. Three, my range of motion is probably a little smaller. That's okay. And up. And then I take my reach and the whole shape opens. So I lift and lower. Being mindful not to rock the pelvis backwards, but keep everything pressing forward and lower controlled. 
press and lift. Shoulder away from the ear. And we have three. And down. Lift for two. Take it down. And lift and hold. Or come down. Your call. Leg comes out. It taps down. And up. Not concerned with height. Looking for a straight line through my side body here. I have three. And I have two. And I have one. And I hold and I circle one and two. Eight times around. We go four and three and two and reverse up and around one. <sighs> Strong through both arms. Go four and three and two and one. Bend it in and lower to the bottom. Awesome work. Come around to all fours, hands and knees position. And let's just take a little tail wag here for those hips. Pick up the right foot and swing the foot to the right. Turn the head, look over that right shoulder and swing it left. Give yourself a little side bend release here. Bending laterally back and forth and set it down. And then other side, swing to one side and the other. Back and forth, inhale and exhale. And do it again, swing and swing. Super, set it on down. Okay, from here, we're gonna be um, kind of alternating between some upper lower body um, unilateral, a lot of this is just core work though. We're going to start, let's go back just a little bit, with a reach of my left arm and my right leg opposite each other. I'm going to bring the elbow and the knee together, right underneath the body, try to touch them. Stretch back open and then tap down, just touch the pinky finger and the big toe. So we stretch out long one. We exhale, curl it in two. Stretch out for three and tap it down. And I'm really making sure that my supporting arm is strong. Pressing into the floor, tap it down. Take it up, draw it in. Reach it long, lower down. Twice more, lift up and in and out and down. Last time here, up, in, out, hold out to the diagonal. So left arm to the left, right leg to the right, and come back to midline. Open to the diagonals and back to center. So I talked before about stability and mobility. We have all of that going on here. The arm and leg that's down, stabilizing the torso. Limbs that are up, moving through whatever range of motion you can. We have one more here. We have a hold. Reach as long as you can, belly in, chin tuck down, and then rest. And we go to the other side. So plant that hand. Right knee is a little more to the center and everything reaches out long at the same time. Organize here. Draw elbow and knee together. Bring everything long. Tap the floor and stretch it up and pull it in and reach it long and tap the floor and pick it up. Again, draw in and out and lower and lift. Two more in and out and lower. Lift one more time and out and lower. Lift and hold to the diagonals and back to center. And those diagonals again. So you wanna stretch out without coming off your center, reach. And back to the middle, three. And in, try to maintain height of the leg for two. And in, one more time. Bring it in, hold it. Stretch longer if you can. And set it on down. Sit back, hips to heels, chest to thighs, forehead to the ground, through, stretch through your back. And 
now we're going to come forward and all the way down to the belly. And try to scoot back so I'm not hitting my rails here. We're going to start with a little lift into a swan. So I'm going to hover without the weight of my hands because I'm going to be reaching them. And then just rest down to start. So find the position you can lift in that's not too high, but you're active in your back muscles here. And we're going to take and reach the right arm up and pull it back. And just maintain height. Stretch the left and pull. Now as I reach the right, I'm going to pull back with my left and turn my head to the left. And then come to center. Reach with the left and turn the head and center. Trying to keep the hips still. Reach and turn. Inhale, exhale, center. And reach and turn. And back to center. We have four more. Reach one. And center. Reach two. And center. Two more. Reach. And center. Last one. Bring it center and rest down. Awesome work. Come on up. And our last block today are some kind of variations into plank and side plank. We're going to start this on the knees. So shift forward. Find a nice long kneeling plank position. From here, we're going to bring our left hand to the middle of our mat. And knees about hip width apart. And we're going to pivot around onto that tall or knee stack position. Very good. And then we're going to pivot through and flip to the other side. And hold. Two three, come through center, rotate around and hold. Pressing the floor away. Three, come through center, other side, press and hold. You can continue this or step up to full plank, feet about shoulder width apart so they can pivot one in front of the other, spiral open and hold. Two, three, which hand position, flip and hold one, two, three, back and forth, flip and hold here, two, and three, and down, last one here, two, and three, come back to plank, or on the knees, everybody pick up their right leg. Behind, we're going to draw the knee in toward the chest and then reach it back. So if you're in a plank, reach it up and back. If you're on the knees, just bring it in and kick it up, extending the spine. Here we go. Knee comes in and kick it up. And knee comes in and kick it up. One more time. Knee comes in. Kick it up and hold. Step it down. Lift the left leg behind. Draw knee to chest. Shift the weight forward. Press up and back one. And bring it forward for two. And up and back. And again, draw it in. Up and back, hold. Push through the arm, stretch through the leg. And then step that leg down. Find a down dog or a child's pose. And just kind of move your hips side to side. Press into the hands. And then we'll come forward. Lower the knees down. And bring ourselves around to a seated position. Whew. All right, everybody. There's your little unilateral map Pilates class for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.